the written word surrounds us. It informs us, entertains, guides and inspires us. But what if we couldn't read a street sign? If you couldn't understand the directions on a medicine label? If you couldn't fill out an application form? Our world has changed. We now live in an age of information. The spoken word has been largely replaced by the written word. So, even at work, most information is passed on by signs, memos on notice boards, computer screens or booklets of procedures. For at least a quarter of our population, much of the information we use to make sense of our world is simply missing. One out of every four adults in Trinidad and Tobago is unable to cope with everyday reading and writing. Why is this so? Young people meet my parents, had a fling, I am the result. My mother couldn't handle it. She gave me up to my father as a young man, 17 year old. Didn't know what to do with this child. The only alternative was to really let his mother know because the, his mother, I believe, was the strong tower and she was very ignorant. So she was the last resort, but anyhow, she was convinced by her other children to take me. I went to San Rafael RC, didn't do common entrance, left at age 10. My mom didn't want me to finish then because she always dragged me all over the place with my stepfather. I, um, from there, she got sick. I took a job cleaning a grocery. My mother gave Mariana was three months to my aunt in Toku, you know. It started from there because, you know, that go up, go up with somebody who, who, who is, not your, is, not, is not your parent, you know. It, it was really, really, really hard. If I have to eat, I have to do the water first, you know. I have to weed the yard first, you know. It's like, it was really, really empty, you know. And, you know, at the, at the, at the age of 13 years, I get, I get put out, they put me out, you know. I had no way to live, you know, just on, on the streets, you know. Now that I am big on my own, I realize due to circumstances and situation, people handle stress and pressure differently. And my grandmother was one who used to cuss every five words. And as a dark, only dark grandchild growing up, it was hard because she would like, Blackie Kobo, go in the corner whenever she is angry. So you're growing up with this mentality, well, you're nothing good. My uncle, he had asthma and he was a very slow learner and I was picking up and she said to me one day when I say, Ma, read in, I read in, you know. I was excited. I read my first paragraph and she take that book and slam it in a corner. All the page come out and tell me girls do how to learn. And I went to school without books, just going because she had to send me. Reading and writing do not develop naturally. They must be taught, must be learned. I didn't pass, um, that time was common entrance. I didn't pass my common entrance. I reached up to seven standard. I didn't pass my school even. I didn't have the confidence in myself. I didn't feel good about myself. I blame my teacher, my parents. Well, being not able to read, sometimes you know, you, 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 you may have a friend, or might be lineman, male or female, you know, they might pick up our newspapers, pick up any papers and say, look, Look at this, you know, you see the headline, you know, sometimes you know, it's not a play you're watching. Well, I run into all the problem with, without reading and writing and thing. I used to put fingerprint if I had to do anything, go in the bank or just any paperwork and thing. I used to put my two thumb finger. What really hit me is the day I went to a restaurant and the door said pull. But yet still I stand up there pushing and pushing and pushing. That's a bit like the restaurant closed, so I turned around to leave. Next thing a lady came, she pulled the door and she go in. Yeah, you couldn't read the door, said pull. I felt so ashamed. Because if I can't read a simple push or pull sign, I am in trouble. One thing that stand out in my mind, my father was a very educated person. All my grandmother's children are. 
and he was in England and he came home and he suspected that maybe I couldn't read because he wouldn't see me picking up a book, normal children they would pick up a storybook because there was nothing in those days. There was a, you know, those wedding advertisement and he told me, come and read this for me. And it was the invitation of Mr. and Mrs. White. I could never forget that. I had about maybe 15 going on 16 and I couldn't. And he said, he's so big and you finished school and you couldn't read and I remember him crying. You have two surveys done in Trinidad. Um, the first one was done by Alta and the second one was done by UWE. Those surveys, although they were completely different surveys, agree a lot on the results, which would give you a feeling that there is an element of accuracy here. Two different surveys coming up with much the same information. So what they are showing you is that about one in four persons in Trinidad, and this is a Trinidad population we're talking about over, over the age of 15, has problems with everyday reading tasks. So that is if they want to just find out where a place is, they can't read the street signs to know where to go to, can't read the, the, the signs on buildings to know if they are in the right place. Um, information on doors, closed and open, that kind of stuff um, is going to be a challenge. Grocery shopping, is this product, once there are no pictures, what is this in this product, in its, in its container? So those kind of everyday things will be a challenge for one out of four persons. One day at home lying down with me and my wife and I saw this, this program, uh, uh, I think it's a Monday morning and deadline, you know, Adult literacy program with Paula Lucy Smith and that was, that was a blessing to me. As I see it, I know, look, hey, that is me. I used to go to the papers trying to find some program that will help me, you know what I mean? And Alta and had this advertisement and, and I started there and it has improved my life. I have the husband, I have the home, I have the children, but yet still I'm empty. I couldn't read. Eight years ago that was until one day I saw Alison on Community Dateline advertising Alta. And this is where I am today. Alta is Adult Literacy Tutors Association. Alta's function is to teach adults how to read and write to be functional in society. Alta really started in 1992, but it came out of my experience, first working in a senior comprehensive school and then later working in a program which was a UNESCO program and a Ministry of Education program for International Literacy Year in 1990. And I was a volunteer tutor with that program had my class at Woodbrook Government Secondary in the afternoons and at the end of 1990 International Literacy Year came to a close and so did the program. So two years after International Literacy Year in October 1992, a small group of us who were then the tutors there at Woodbrook Government Secondary got together and said okay we have to try and network with other groups. But what we found is when we looked for other groups to network with we really didn't find any and that's how Alta was born that we then with the genesis of the Adult Literacy Tutors Association. When I decided to go to Alta and I showed up, they already was registered. But the teacher was so nice to me. She said, you can sit in on my class until it's time to register. I said, okay. I said, you know, I'm feeling a how Here, yeah, look around now. Tell me what you see. Tell me the, the age of the people you see. I said, well, some of them could be my mother, my grandmother, my uncle. Here, yeah, well. So what you are ashamed of, what you are afraid of, well, who are you doing this for? She made me sit and think, you know, who am I going to do this for? And when I realized that it's, I am going to do this for me, nobody wouldn't be able to take it from me in the long run. It will be something with me for life. Well, it was a Monday when I heard the program and the classes would have been like two days for the week, Tuesday and Thursday, because I always say if a program come about, I would give myself that chance and I will prove to my grandmother and my, and my father I could read. I went, I was ashamed, I was fearful because I say, hmm, what people would say, you know, you big woman like you, you can't read, you have children. But when I do so, I realized it had older people than me there. Well, the program was good. I had a good teacher, Mrs. Mrs. Um, Mrs. Cynthia Ellis. And you know, she, she take well good interest because I, I was interested too. Because I felt like I used to go and do the homework, write whatever line, because I said I used to do probably three lines, four lines, you know. And then after that I do two, three pages, you know, because I got the confidence and have a, I would work with a small dictionary. Some of the words that I probably using every day, some of them would have more one meaning and you could use it in different you know, different places. Them teachers and them just teach you over and over. If you know, 
they teach you over and over. And if you, you know how to write, they show you how to write it. They write it on the board, even they come, they hold your hand and, and make you write it. Write it on the book, they sh you know, and they continue like that. The teachers teach are very nice, you know, very nice. I want to say to that's because of the love for people, them doing it, because they don't even get paid to do it. If you're not feeling well enough to do the work and you have like personal stress, let me put it this way, you can go and talk to them. They're very understanding, they're very kind, considerate people. Anybody can learn to read. The rate at which they learn to read will differ. You know, everybody will have different aptitudes. And clearly if you are coming as an adult and you've been through some schooling before, maybe you are not one that picks up reading quickly. Right? So it may be more of an effort for you, but doesn't mean you can't learn. The program is so structured that even though you can't read at all, you would be able to pronounce and read at the end of one session. Because I was like at the end of the seat, midway in the session. Because here it is, words that we use every day, being put on a blackboard, and she marked the V for the vowels and the C to help you divide the words. And I was like, you know, common sense was one of the words. Communicate. And she said, well, beat the words. Say your name. Presencia. And she would make people, other, she would write people name stand up in front of the board and write everybody's name. And a lot of people couldn't identify the name. And I was like, wait now, I could read, but you just didn't know how. Right now, it really helped me a lot too, because in, in, in our job now, we have, we have something they call a, a job card. Every job you do, you have to make sure and go and put on the name of the vehicle, what you're exactly going to do on it, you know? In work where I am now, it was, I tell you, before you had to strip up, you had to do that, but now you have computers. Any computer down here, they call the IT man. He might tell you, read out what it has there. I could do that. I went on to YTEP. This is my certificate. This is my certificate. In with the school leaving, I had three credits, three credit and a distinction. And this is where Alta take me. If it wasn't for Alta, this wouldn't be. There are success and then there are success. I mean, you can have extravagant business, extravagant car, but the real success comes within when you know you accomplished something that nobody else could have done for you. Like being able to read and write. I mean, that is an achievement that there is no word to describe that. If you are afraid of coming to the class, you have to consider that that fear of coming to the class is small compared to the fear that you're going to face every day when you're wondering when is somebody going to find out that I can't read. Well, it, it begins with you. You have to do it for yourself. You have to put, you have, you have to really dig deep and put it aside. Because that is if most fear people want, they want this one to know that one. But eventually they would know. Because it will have situation arise that they will have to. Because when I've been saying, we can't read, right, somebody can make a sign over your house. I will say this, make the first step. You know, and make the first step. And remember, is you are the problem. So you are to cry out for help, you know. And you see, don't, don't feel as only you alone are the problem. It's plenty people are the problem. People just have a nice suit, you know. Nice car, fancy cars, nice gold. And saying, and they carry that right, you know. You know, I want to say, let's, let's give it one try. And you will see the difference it will make. You have to be able to get up there, face the world, and do this. Because the world wouldn't give you anything unless you do this for yourself first. You will find that you have so much to learn and you have so much to progress in life if you, you have so far to go in life if you would come out. So don't be afraid. Just make it, once you make that first step to come to the first class, you'll realize it's so easy. I don't hide no more. See, uh, I take off the mask. There's no more mask now, you know, I look. I need help and I cry out for help and this way it is no, you know. Alta is an effective program, take it from me. I couldn't read. So even if you don't feel like asking for help, we will come and ask you if you would like help. You know, so it's not a threatening type environment at all. And if you find that you're struggling with something, teacher will stay back with you, help you through it. So you're going to find that fear, either you decide to live with fear all your life, or you decide to face it now, go into the class, deal with it, and then you find you're fear free within a few weeks. 
There have been hundreds of success stories with Alta graduates over the past 12 years. Just call 624-ALTA, 624-2582, or register for an Alta class at your local library on the first Tuesday and Wednesday of the school term in September. Join Alta and open the door to the world of the written word. Don't be your